Hi and welcome to this demo of the new Symmetry Bake XYZ tool introduced inside of Mario Extension Pack 4. The Symmetry Bake tool has been introduced inside of Extension Pack 4 R1 Update 11 and is also available as part of Mario Extension Pack 4 R2 for Mario 4. Originally this tool was developed by David Eshrick and made available on the Foundry forum website. So you, even if you don't have Extension Pack you can find that tool there, however the Extension Pack version is slightly different than the forum version. So if you're using the forum version, you will not exactly have the same options as here. But still, thank you for David Eshrick to making this tool available and also allowing us to introduce us inside of Mar Extension Pack as a standard plugin. Now let's first take a look at standard Mari mirroring, because even after all these years, Mari still does not have proper symmetry. So what we have is screen space symmetry. So I activated the screen space symmetry and I can see this very faint red line here which indicates the symmetry plane in screen space. So if I paint something, you can see it mirrors it flat across the screen. However, let's say I'm looking at the side of this head, I will not be able to bake onto the other side of the head using symmetry. The symmetry bake tool does not have this problem. So if I right mouse click and choose the extension pack toolbar, you can see I have a bunch of new options. And these options in Mari 3 using extension pack 4R1 can be actually found in the mirroring toolbar. So there's no extension pack toolbar there, but the options will be found in the default mirroring toolbar. The way this tool works is to save the paint buffer content on bake and flip over either your model or your camera and bake the contents on the other side of the model. So it actually does two bakes. So I'm gonna activate X, and just do a paint stroke and there we go i've painted across the symmetry axis of this object and if you paid attention to what was happening there was a slight flip in the model on screen and this is what the object mode does it flips the object over you do a paint stroke you bake extension pack will save the content of the paint buffer flip over your model apply the paint flip the model back and then bake it the rest down so this way we always have symmetry there's a second mode, which is the world mode. And if I do a stroke now, this will by default not work. You can see the camera flipped into empty space. In world mode, the camera will be flipped, not the object. However, it assumes that your object always sits at world origin, so where the grid lines of Mari's default grid meet here in the center. So for this to work, for this mode to work, I need to reset my object transformation. So I'm gonna reset both the head and the eyeball. And now if I do a paint stroke with world mode active, the camera is going to flip over and you will have symmetry again. The object mode, as you've seen, does support transformation, however, only Mari internal transformation. So if I move this over, you can see the object no longer sits at world origin and I can still do paint strokes and the mirroring works because the object is flipped around its pivot. So if I go here, you can see the pivot is at its center, so it'll flip across this pivot. If you import a model that by default already comes in at a position differently than world origin, this will not work. So this first implementation at least only works with translation and scaling using the Mari transform tools. However, even in, world, in object mode, the initial position of the object when you bring it into Mari still needs to be at world center and needs to be aligned in X, Y, and Z. There's a couple of caveats in general, unfortunately still. So the first thing is I would recommend you always use this in autographic mode. Uh, depending on your field of view in perspective mode, especially in object uh, symmetry mode, there might be a very slight shift in paint. So it's only in like one or two pixels, but um, if you're doing really precise work, this could still be quite noticeable. So I would always suggest you use the autographic mode, which is true for many, many Mario tools actually, because by default, it just seems to work better in autographic mode. Uh, for a complete list of the limitations, I would ask you to look at the extension pack help files. So we have a bunch of limitations as discussed, we, the object and world mode, uh, your imported model needs to be centered at world space zero. The object mode currently works with only the active object. So because the model is being flipped, it will only flip the object that is selected in your object palette. So if I were to paint across both the head and the eyes here, which are two separate objects, this would actually not properly keep symmetry because only the selected object, in this case, the head geo would be flipped. Uh, in world space, this works uh, well, so you can paint across objects. Uh, the main X, Y, Z axis of the imported model needs to be aligned with Mari's world X, Y, Z axis. And also by default, 
the model cannot be rotated. So this applies both to the initial position of the model when it's imported, as well as when using the translation tool inside of Mari. So there only scale and translation are supported. The mirroring options obviously still work. So if I activate the default Mari mirroring and do a paint stroke, so then this paint is baked, mirrored over the center axis. So you can actually use the Mari default tool as well as the extension pack tool. So this concludes this short tutorial, hopefully. Hopefully it's useful. I definitely find it a very, very cool tool. So huge thanks to David Eschrick for making it available and also for allowing me to incorporate it into extension pack. Um, I imagine there will be more work going into this tool going forward to uh, deal with some of the limitations as much as Mari allows me to do so. I hope it's useful and I'll see you next time.